Each spring in Western North America, a huge migration takes place. Thousands upon thousands of sheep are driven to high mountain ranges for summer pasture. For millennia, people and sheep have shaped each other's lives. In seeking lush pasture, sheep have shaped where and how we live. In seeking clothes and food, people have shaped how sheep live. The rapid advances of genomics in the last two decades have refined the methods with which people shape the lives sheep lead. In a 2022 article, a team of Irish researchers characterised the trends of inbreeding and genetic diversity in almost half a million Irish sheep, encompassing purebred Belclare, Charola, Galway, Suffolk, Texel, and Vendine breeds. Inbreeding tends to shape the lives sheep lead negatively. In a small enclosed population, such as a shepherd's flock, genetic diversity may rapidly dwindle as related parents give rise to progeny whose genome closely resembles their own. For the sheep, genetically diverse flocks have greater ewe and lamb survival and might sooner adapt to changing climatic conditions and food supply. For the shepherd, a selective force in their own, inbreeding slows the growth and lowers the weight of the sheep. Paradoxically, it is the shepherd's pursuit of increasing the prevalence of desirable traits that may lead them to mate closely related animals, inadvertently exacerbating inbreeding associated issues. To evaluate trends in inbreeding and genetic diversity, the research team used pedigree and genomic data to estimate the value of five metrics. Complete generation equivalence, which determines how complete and deep the family tree of the breed is. Effective population size, which incorporates the familiar F statistic we covered in week 8 and reflects the rate of increase in the mean inbreeding coefficient. The effective number of founders, which can be thought of as the size of a trunk of the breed's family tree. The effective number of ancestors, which can be thought of as the breadth of the branches in the breed's family tree. And finally, the effective number of founder genomes, which is like assessing how the tips of the family tree resemble the trunk. Using these metrics, the researchers discovered that, despite nearly all lambs born in 2021 being somewhat inbred, overall inbreeding levels remained low, with the accumulation of inbreeding steadily increasing, but sustainable at present. However, the researchers also hinted at the limitations of their findings, noting the disparity between what amount of inbreeding is sustainable from the perspective of the population versus what is economically optimal for the shepherd. Inbreeding leading to lower survival rate of ewes and slower growth rate of lambs may be a sustainable cost for the breed, but not the shepherd to bear. Learning about the different applicability of population genetic metrics we were introduced to in Gen 2052 led me to reflect on the areas of overlap between the interests of a sheep and the shepherd when it comes to genetic diversity. We often think of domestication as one way. After all, we domesticate them, we drive them into the mountains, we bend their lives to suit our needs. But to me, domestication implies a relationship to be responsible stewards of the lives we shape. In short, to be good shepherds. This means leading them to lush pastures, mitigating inbreeding depression, and bolstering their genetic diversity. After all, given enough time, domestication is only temporary, a brief intertwining of two species' fates. However, how we tend to our flocks today determines how they'll go into the long tomorrow, with or without us.